everyone, my name is Maya. I'm a student at CSUMB and I'm also a service learner for the Monterey County Free Libraries. To kick off Latine or Latinx Heritage Month, I thought I'd share one of my favorite books of all times, written by a Salvadorian poet. The book is called Solido by Javier Zamora. This is a memoir that follows nine-year-old Zamora during one of the most pivotal moments of his life as he takes a two-month long journey um, from his small fishing village in El Salvador to Tucson, Arizona. My mom gave me a copy of uh, Salido as a gift after um, a lot of our family members have been talking about it since its release. Um, you know, we thought, why not try it out, see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> this book is really special, special for me and my family because we are all Salvadorian um, and it's rare to see Central American media uh, representation in the media. On top of that, Salido has relatable moments for some of my older family members as they have experience of similar or if not the exact same stuff that Zamora and many others have um, making their way to the US. So I don't have the, the physical copy on me right now, but um, I just pulled the synopsis from Amazon. Trip. My parents started using that word about a year ago. One day you'll take a trip to be with us, like an adventure. Javier Zamora's adventure is a 3,000 mile journey from his small town in El Salvador, through Guatemala and Mexico, and across the U.S. border. He will leave behind his beloved aunt and grandparents to reunite with a mother who left four years ago and a father he barely remembers. Traveling alone amid a group of strangers in a coyote hired to lead them to safety, Javier expects this trip to last two short weeks. At nine years old, all Javier can imagine is rushing into his parents' arms, snuggling in bed between them and living under the same roof again. He cannot foresee the perilous boat trips, relentless desert treks, pointed guns, arrests, and deceptions that await him. Nor can he know that those two weeks will expand into two life-altering months alongside fellow migrants who will come to encircle him like an unexpected family. A memoir as gripping as it is moving, Solito provides an immediate and intimate account, not only of treacherous and near impossible journey, but also of the miraculous kindness and love delivered at the most unexpected moments. Solito is Javier Zamora's story, but it's also the story of millions of others who have had no choice but to leave home. So one of my favorite aspects of the book is that the way that it's written. Um, it's really special to me that Zamora uses rural Salvadorian slang. Um, on top of that, the Spanish that Zamora uses in his dialogue is not perfect and uh, it's not if refined. Instead, it's, you know, it's a little grainy, it's a little rough around the edges and some of it is broken up and proper. It just makes it easier to envision a, a conversation between him and another character that he interacts with in, in his memoir. Um, Another big thing about this book is that it's written like the mind of a child, um, which is fitting because Zamora is nine years old when the events of the book take place. Um, here we get to see what it's like migrating across crunchies in the mind of a nine-year-old boy. The dangers of Zamora's journey left a constant reminder for him, and he used those traumas to share his story to the rest of the world. This book is especially relevant today because of the current issues with, the, with immigration in the Mexico-US border. Um, so I'd really recommend this book for people that are interested in those topics, um, like immigration, war, and uh, personal insight on these matters. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.